Quran is we need to introduce a new culture among ourselves in the way we think and relate to one another. It's called the culture of differences. The culture of? To respect diversity within the human race. To, dis to respect difference of opinion within the parameters of our faith, right? right? When we disagree when, with one another. To agree to disagree respectfully respectfully something that we don't sometimes incorporate in our dealings with one another as muslims look what allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the quran bismillah ar-rahman ar-rahim wa'tasimu bihablillahi jami'an wala and hold fast to the rope of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he has stretched down to you and do not be disunited amongst yourselves wathkuru ni'matallahi alaykum and recall Recall what? Recall the blessing of Allah on you. Yani Allah is speaking to the Prophet. Ya Rasulullah, remind the Meccans, remind the Muhajireen, the Ansar, that, and, and the Aus and Khazraj, how with the coming of Islam, your hearts became united. And remember the blessing of Allah on you. Is kuntum a'da'an. When you were enemies, fighting amongst yourselves with one another. فَأَلَّفَ بَيْنَ عُقُولِكُمْ No. Right? He united your intellect. He united your minds. Did he say that, Allah? What did he say? Correct me. فَأَلَّفَ بَيْنَ قُلُوبِكُمْ I can be your brother. I can be your sister. You can be my sister. I can be your brother with the love and the united hearts. But I beg your pardon to disagree with you on certain points intellectually. Possible or not possible? We can unite by heart. فَأَلَّفَ بَيْنَ قُلُوبِكُمْ He didn't say فَأَلَّفَ بَيْنَ عُقُولِكُمْ فَأَلَّفَ بَيْنَ قُلُوبِكُمْ He united your hearts so that you can be brethren and forgive one another. But he did not expect you that you all have one mindset. No. Not at all. You have a right to think logically. I have a right to think logically. When I differ with you or I disagree with you, we must agree to, to disagree and respect that these differences or this diversity of thinking without abuse, without racism, without discrimination, without, you know, putting someone down, without the one million dollar question, the biggest disease in the Muslim ummah. The biggest disease in the Muslim Ummah. What is it? Do you know what it is? Character assassination. Character assassination. I don't like this guy. I begin to fabricate every lie about him. To bring him down. What an act of injustice is this? You know why? Because Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam goes to the Kaaba. And there is a similar hadith. I see your majlis is so dry tonight. Mentioning the name of the Prophet, there is no salawat. Oh. The Prophet goes to the Kaaba and he's standing in front of it and he's speaking to the Kaaba. Allahu Akbar. Imagine when you go to Hajj or Umrah or visit and you're speaking to the Kaaba. You're standing there and you're glaring at the Kaaba. Rasulullah goes to the Kaaba and he says this. Look, listen to these words. He said, Wallah, inni la'a'lamu anna laki hurmatan inda Allah. By God, I know you have such a great status in the eyes of Allah. You have so much, you know, uh, 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 sanctity in the eyes of Allah. Ala inna hurmata al-mu'man ashaddu ala Allahi minki. But the sanctity, the respect, the honor, the dignity of a mu'man is higher in the eyes of Allah than you. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. So Tasqeet al-Mu'min, to reduce a mu'min to a non-entity, to reduce a believer to something that is based on lies and fabrication, amount to what? An act of justice or injustice? An act of injustice.